Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. This is the last Coffee Talk of 2016. The last Coffee Talk of 2016. For those of you that have been with me all year, um, good on ya. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I want to talk about um, Ronda Rousey for a second. For those of you who don't know, Ronda Rousey fights in what I think is called the AFC. I, I don't really know what it is. Um, but she's a great female fighter. Probably one of the greatest. Now, I'm not really into, you know, boxing per se. Although I have been known to throw a few blows in my time. <laughs> um, but Ronda got paid $3 million to fight last night. And she lost in like 48 seconds or something. Um, and people are saying she needs to retire. And I wanted to talk to you about this because this is what um, people love to do to other people who have setbacks. If you take a loss, people want to tell you immediately to give up, let it go. UFC, thank you, Melissa Melton. UFC, yes. Okay, I don't know what it is. Um, the last thing that Ronda Rousey needs to do is retire because she took a loss. That is not how life works. What are we teaching ourselves? Oh, you took a loss, so you just need to give up everything you're doing, so what? Um, there are people who said that because I didn't do Jersey Bell for a second season that I should just sort of let the tides wash me back uh, into oblivion and never show my face again. Are you, are you kidding me? Really? Um, okay, Katrina Corwin. I'm so sorry I can't say her name right. Um, I love the fact that you took time out of your morning to write that comment. You need a hug. Somebody go hug that chick. Um, the point is that if you take a loss... Rouse, Rousey. Okay, fine. Got it. Ronda Rousey. Ooh, you guys are tough this morning. Um, the point is this. The point is this. You take a loss, you get up, and you keep going. You train harder, you work harder, you set bigger goals, you put the time in. Like, you don't disappear. You don't fold the table. You don't give up because you took a loss. Everybody takes a loss. Every Mike Tyson has lost. Michael Jordan has lost. Oprah started a TV network. The most powerful woman on television started a television network, which you would think would be the most natural transition from her television show to the next phase of her career and the TV network is still struggling still struggling and she's Oprah Steve Jobs took like 10 losses so as I'm reading comments this morning about Rhonda and they're going oh she needs to just give it up she needs to retire I go no that's not what she needs to do if Rhonda is ready to retire, then Rhonda should retire. But Rhonda took a loss. This is an opportunity for her to get back in the gym, folk, look, watch the tapes, see where she went wrong, and work on what you need to, to work on and get better. Literally. This is, I think this was Rhonda's only second loss in her entire fighting career. Could you imagine if she gave up after the first loss? Think about how many greats we have. Uh, 
And here's the thing. People are like, nobody wants to see you fight anymore. Um, how could you know that? Have you spoken to everybody who watches that fighting? I doubt it. Do you know how many people have said to me since I did a year ago or two when I did the coffee talk that pissed me off so bad about Mariah Carey and the way people treated her after she had a poor performance in New York? How many people were like, nobody wants to see Mariah anymore? Meanwhile, back at the Mariah Ranch, Mariah sells out every stadium she goes to around the world. So wait, let me get this straight. Nobody wants to hear Mariah sing anymore, yet she sells out every single arena around the world. Could you imagine if Mariah just packed it up because she had a bad performance? How about if I just canceled my marriage because we had a bad week? Really bad week. What, when people tell you to quit, what are they really saying? I'm tired of watching you succeed. This is the loss I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for you to fail so I can discourage you from doing things that are greater than what I'm doing. So pack it up and come sit in the wade in the loser pool with me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Whatever it is you are working on, I don't care if you get knocked down nine times, you get up ten. You say who, you say when, you say how much. You are the pretty woman of your life. You decide when you've had enough. You decide when you're going to pack it in. You decide when you're going to quit. Nobody else. You don't let anybody else make you feel like, oh, you took a loss. You better pack it in. No, I'll pack it in when I'm ready to pack it in. What? Think about how many people have taken losses and kept going. Let me see some of your comments now because I, uh, Jacqueline Kimmy, yeah, dust yourself off and try again. Like Aaliyah said, I like that. Um, Emily, our culture tree, oh, it's too, going too fast. Perseverance is the key. Keep on trucking. Yes. Yes, exactly. This is what I mean. We know we're all going to fail at times. We're all going to take losses. We're all going to get our ass kicked. Not just Rhonda, all of us. It's only more surprising that she got her ass kicked because she, she um, trains every day. But there are so many of you right now who feel like the world is rooting against you. And if I am the only person rooting for you, so be it. I will continue to root for you. When the rest of the world tells you to take a knee, take the loss, that you're a loser, that, you're a, that you've failed, I will be here every morning to say you did not fail. We all take losses. Every single one of us. Do you know how many things I have put out into the universe that I wanted to come to fruition that didn't? But sure, there are people who think I'm a, a, a loser. I don't care. The fact that I get up and try every day makes me a winner. Even if it never even if it never comes to fruition, even if none of these things that I put out into the universe work for me. At least I'm still fighting. It's more than I can say for a lot of people. And the people that want to see us take a knee, right? It's only because they they're terrified that we can fight harder than they can. They're terrified that we have some drive in us that they don't have and it bothers us. They are waiting, waiting for us to take a loss. Waiting. Don't do it. You decide when. You decide when you've had enough. You decide when the fight is over. Nobody else. I don't care what they say from the sidelines. They're not the ones in the ring of your life. Now that was cheesy, but that's real. They're not the ones in the ring. And that's what I always tell people about my marriage. You don't worry about the fight Michael and I are doing inside the ring, okay? We, we'll fight it the way we need to fight it so that it can keep going. You just do your own marriage. You just do your own thing and don't worry about us at all. 
All right, I'm reading. Um, God is preparing her for something bigger. This could be the lesson she needs. Right. Um, Vince, losers give up. Winners continue until they succeed. Yes. Cindy, you decide. Yes. Yep. For sure, people are vulnerable when they are at a loss. These things, it's so hard um, because they go so fast and I'm old. So I have to squint. Oh my God, Tina, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, Tracy Jones, Happy New Year's to all of you on Coffee Talk. Joelle Johnson, never stop fighting. Been down, but never out for long. Amen. Just because we lose a match does not mean you lose the war. That is right. That is right. Uh, I tell my kids all the time, you, don't, you can't even appreciate all the winning if you don't take a loss. It humbles you. It hurts like a bitch to take a loss. When you take a real loss in your life and you know things could have gone different, you know the win was just out of your reach, it... It is, oh, it is tough to take a loss. When friendships end, when marriages end, when you lose jobs, when you put things out there and they don't come to fruition, when you try to sell projects and it doesn't work, it is so hard to take a loss sometimes. But man, those wins. Look, if I didn't stalk Lionel Richie, would Lionel and I be friends now? I think not. Everybody told me I should stop. The night, the last time I saw him, my friend Becky was like, you're mortifying me. I am so embarrassed. Please stop. Really? Stop? Because my crazy, outgoing personality won over Mr. Richie, and now we are besties. So take that, Becky. Becky with the good behavior. Becky with the good behavior. Are you besties with Lionel? I don't think so. I am. Um, it is harder when everyone is watching. It is absolutely harder when people are watching you. 100% I can say that uh, from firsthand experience. It is hard to take a loss when people are watching. But you know what? It's not... Uh, it doesn't matter because everybody takes a loss. This is it. Everybody takes a loss. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Everybody takes a loss. Everybody. So just it's it's how gracefully you get back up. Okay, so if y'all want to come to mine and Lino's wedding, that's fine. <laughs> Could you imagine? Jamie Ritchie. Jamie Premax Sullivan Ritchie. Oh, my alarm's broken. All right. So am I, Christy. So am I. All right, guys, it's New Year's Eve. I hope that whatever you do tonight, um, that you are safe and that you are surrounded by people you love. I will be um, on the couch with my husband. And we're going to do what we always do. And that is nothing. Have a drink together. Probably you know, bump uglies and then go to bed. Um, and then we will make greens and black eyed peas for tomorrow. Um, all right. I love you guys so much. I really do. I'm so thankful for you to all of you that have been here with me for 2016. To those of you that have just found coffee talk in 2016. I love you. I am so thankful for you. I will not leave you. I am here rooting for you no matter how many times you fail. I will be the one person in your life that goes, get up. Go, 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 go. Rudy, Rudy. That'll be me. It'll get annoying, but I don't care. I'm going to keep doing it. Um, and I am going to post things for you every hour on the hour today to boost you up for the new year. I love you so much. Have a great day.